Girl, look at that body. Girl, look at that body. She does squats. Welcome to today's lower body workout. This workout is going to change your game. I know, I know I get excited about these. Get excited with me. We're starting with the warm up today with hip circles. Just make nice big circles with your hips going in different directions because we're fancy. I am so happy you are making yourself a priority today and you showed up to do your workout. That's, that's what I'm talking about. Next up, we have hip openers. Raise that knee as high as you can. Pretend you're scaling a fence. The fence of everything standing in the way of your dreams, your goals. You're just stepping right over them one at a time. When you bring your foot down, put a slight bend in your knee. Gentle, delicate, dilettante squat. Next up, we're going to do a rocking squat. Just shift your weight from one foot to the other. Do your best to make sure you are sitting back. Your knees shouldn't be going too far past your toes as you do this. And our last warm-up move is a squat with a leg raise. So you're going to drop into that squat and raise your leg. Drop into a squat, raise your other leg. We need to make sure those legs are ready to work because this workout is no joke. It's so amazing. Kind of just like you, actually. That was perfect. Our first move of today is prisoner squats. You want your hand at the back of your head. You're going to drop into your squat. And remember, those knees shouldn't go too far past your toes. A little bit is fine, too much, and something is wrong. Drop as low as you can. Squeeze your booty to stand back up. If you are struggling, you can take your hands off of the back of your head. You're doing awesome. Sit back, go down, squeeze your booty to stand up. Five seconds to go. That was just amazing. Give me those alternating warriors. You're going to raise your hand up and step your foot out. Are you ready? Take a deep breath. You can do it. You're already doing the workout. So just keep going to the end. That is awesome. Make sure that your chest is up, your core is sucked in. When you step that foot out, push off to stand back up with the same foot that you used to step out. Make sure that back knee is not touching the ground. Exactly. 10 seconds to go. Raise those arms, raise those arms. Very good. You're doing so well. That was good. Give me cow phrases next. You're going to simply put your feet together and go on your tiptoes. Put your hand in front of your thigh. Relax everything else except your core, of course. Let's go. You look so amazing. I just, I just need you to know that today. When you get on your tiptoe, I want you to hold at the top very briefly. Good. You're going to feel this all through the, your back, all through your posterior chain, back of your thighs, your calves, and your booty. If you want to get fancy, raise your hands parallel to the floor. Two, one, time. We're going to do rotator lifts. You're going to just step your foot back, and when you bring it forward, you're going to raise that knee. Add in your arms. You're going to have to practice. Okay? There you go. Step back and then bring that knee up. Beautiful. Raise your arms just a bit. It's going to burn in the leg that's not moving. Very confusing. If you are feeling it there, you are doing it right. When you step back, put a slight bend in the leg that's not moving. Go at your own pace. Your pace is good. That's good. Balance. Perfect. You're going to do the same movement on the other side. It's going to be more challenging on your less dominant side. This is totally normal. Don't let that defeat you. This is your last movement and then you get a break. Let's jump in. Step that foot back. 
Very good. Pull that knee all the way in. You want your thigh to be parallel to the floor. Your knee should be waist level when you pull it in. Exactly. Just like that. Keep going. Suck your abs in. Beautiful. Raise those arms. Good. That is so amazing. You, you picked that up so fast. And time. Go ahead and catch your breath. I'll be back in just a few seconds. Hi, just in case you're new here, I'm Cola, just like Coca-Cola, and I am married. I have a son with my husband. Now we live in Texas. I love pizza with no tomato sauce. I am a certified personal trainer. I am also certified in nutrition, and I wanted to personally invite you to check out my website, kabokofitness.com. On there, you can find an all-inclusive, all-access pass to all of my workouts and this includes premium 30 minute workouts that are not available on youtube my eight week booty program my 21 day belly fat focus program and get this your whole year of workouts planned for you january through december you never have to think about it ever again you can access all this content directly from my website by logging in or you can download the iphone app or the android app and just have everything in one place in your pocket it's so convenient go ahead and check out my website kabokofitness.com it's totally free to try so give it a shot see if it's right for you welcome back welcome back welcome back welcome back we have hip circles next this is one of my favorite lower body exercises because you can do it while laying down of course just make nice big circles with your legs Try to avoid letting that foot touch the other foot that's relaxing on the floor. You want your leg to be moving the whole time. But do your best. If you have to relax your leg a little bit, ain't no shame in your game. Listen, you are working out today. And as long as you're doing it when that timer hits zero, I am counting it. It counts. Perfect. Flip over to the other side. We're going to do the same movement on your other leg. get ready let's jump right in make these circles as big as you possibly can support your upper body with your arms you're just chilling at the beach you know you could do this at the beach in your bikini well don't do this in your bikini because you're raising your leg and stuff but never mind just you're doing amazing keep going make those nice big circles as big as you can make them Perfect. You're going to flip over now to your chest. Support your neck with your arms. Your goal here is to raise your thigh off of the mat. That is your objective. You have one job. Can you handle it? Yes, you can. Let's go. After this, you have two more exercises and the workout is complete. Really focus on squeezing your booty and the back of your thigh as you raise your leg. You're doing amazing. You are pushing through. I know you're tired, but you're doing so well. Keep going. Three, two, one. You're beautiful. What was that? <laughs> Next up, we have our leg kick. We're going to do one leg at a time. You want the leg that's not working to be bent at a 90 degree angle. You're supporting your upper body with your arms and you are just swinging that leg. This is a nice controlled movement. If you need to take a break, take a break. Keep swinging that leg back and forward. When you go back, you want to extend it as far back as you can go without losing your balance. Same when you come forward, as far forward as you can without losing your balance. Four, three, two, one time. That was so amazing. Last exercise in this workout before we cool down. Same movement on the other side. Let's jump in. It's your last exercise. Yes, you can. You're really going to have to work hard to maintain your balance. Keep that other leg bent at a 90 degree angle. 
keep your upper body stable, suck your stomach in to help you with that. You're doing awesome. You can do it. Keep going. You have 10 seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one. Yes. You, you worked out today. You made it to the end and I couldn't be more proud. Let's go ahead and cool down with a cow stretch. I want you to stand up nice and slow. Don't rush. It's the cool down so we can be chill about it. You should feel this stretch in the back of your thigh and your calf muscles. In that leg that's behind you, that's where you're going to feel this stretch. And that's so important because we did so many exercises today. Switch your legs. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Just lean into that stretch. Those prisoner squats, alternating warrior, calf raises, rotator lifts. You, you deserve some accolades. You did so good today. Those were not the easiest exercises, but here you are. Finally, I want you to put a slight bend in your knee. Give yourself a big hug. Today, I just want to be the person that will tell you that you are fabulous. You are unique. You are awesome. You are working on you. And I cannot wait to see you 2.0 because it's about to be something brand new. Thank you so much for working out with me today. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. Tell your friends and family about Kaboko Fitness. And I'll see you in my next workout video.